Hi guys doing and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to test the engine when buying a car. Now it goes without saying that you should always check the service book and uh, you should always check the last time the uh, cam belt or timing belt was changed. First thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna test for uh, blow by. To do this I'm gonna start up the car first. Now I'm gonna undo the oil cap and I'm gonna check for the crankcase pressure. A small amount of pressure is fine but if you see a lot of blow by or even smoke coming out that could indicate some uh, serious problems with the engine. Now most common uh, causes of the blow by include worn out piston rings or a faulty PCB system. I'm gonna undo the oil cap again and I'm gonna check for any white milky residue which could indicate issues with the head gasket. However, that doesn't always have to be the case if the car is driven only on short trips, the oil doesn't evaporate properly and the white milky residue could form. I'm also going to check the uh, oil level and the oil clarity. Now as you can see right here the oil is on max and it's still fairly uh, clean considering that it was uh, changed 3000 kilometers ago. Uh, while you are here always uh, check the coolant bottle it should be clean and the coolant inside should be clean as well. Uh, if it was dirty it could indicate the mixture of uh, coolant and oil which is direct cause of the uh, bad head gasket. Use a uh, flashlight or uh, use one on your phone and check for any oil leaks. As you can see this engine is uh, dry but these twin spark engines usually have issues with the uh, bad valve cover gasket. It's an easy fix but you should check for it anyway. Now I'm gonna check out the engine underneath. I'm looking for any oil leaks. The worst one would be uh, right here where gearbox and engine meet. If you see an oil leak here that could indicate a bad main seal. It's an expensive fix uh, since uh, it requires the uh, gearbox to be removed. I'm also checking for the uh, oil pan or any uh, other sign of uh, oil leak. One of the uh, most important things you should do is uh, check for any common issues. Now one of the common issues on these twin spark engines is a bad variator. Uh, now it manifests through a uh, diesel uh, sound on startup. When it goes bad all the way it's gonna make your engine sound like diesel all the time. While the engine is cold I'm gonna do a quick uh, valve seal test. I'm gonna start the car up and uh, basically I'm looking for a blue smoke which could indicate a uh, bad valve seals. I'm gonna let the engine warm up and I'm gonna rev it up a little bit. Again uh, I'm looking for any kind of smoke. The blue smoke would indicate the oil in combustion chamber. White smoke would indicate uh, coolant in uh, combustion chamber while black smoke uh, would indicate a uh, rich mixture. Last thing that you could do is hook the car up to the diagnostic tool that could uh, potentially give you some insights uh, into any issues with the engine. Uh, all of these tests work both on petrol and diesel engines so don't shy away from them because they have a potential to save you a lot of money. If you like the video hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing.